Sam. Pleased to meet you, Phil. Pleased to meet you too. Um, right, uh, a little bit of background for people watching. Um, I'm obsessed with Kickstarter, as most people will know. And we do a show every week called Crowd Working. And just recently, I've been clicking the tab on Kickstarter to look for no- Nottingham projects. Oh, okay. And the first one I found was Dave Seaman, the DJ, 25 yeah, yeah, years. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And he smashed through his thing. Yeah. And then, because we were about to launch our campaign, I did another look the other day and I found you. And you are LootWheels.com. Yeah. But who is LootWheels.com? Who is Sam? Uh, Luke, well, LootWheels.com is, is purely the name of the wheel we're launching. The company is called Jelly Products, and I've been, which is me and my wife Gemma, and we've been a business designing for other people products for the last, since 2006. So I've had some of my designs, have won IF Awards um, in Europe, and you can buy them in the shops, but you wouldn't know it's me right. who designed the mechanism or the whatever it is. So I, I'm a consultant designer, or was. Right. So we've just met up in the coffee shop down the road, yeah. Hungry Pumpkin, which you shot the video locally yeah. as well, Lace Market, and there's a really nice pool shot, and whoever did the video, amazing video. You know, I was really engrossed in the video in terms of I need to find out who's behind the yeah. product because I can see there's an extra level of professionalism done with the video. Well, that, that came from Gemma finding, needing to find a photographer, filmmaker, found a guy called Nico Turner, local guy to Nottingham, student to Montford. He was brilliant. Mm, really good guy. Really good guy. So let's get into the bike. Let's get into yeah. like you, you. So you've been designing products for for companies that you work for for how many years? Yeah, my specialism is three dimensional folding mechanisms. Right. So three dimensional CAD, three dimensional problem solving. Okay. I've done that for over twenty years for other people as well, other big companies. So uh, that's where I come from. And the wheel was a little bit of a pet project. Right. That I did at the weekend. That has gradually taken over. The company, the resources, and now my life. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about that because, yeah. as, as as sort of a lot of the stories that are floating around now about sort of entrepreneurs and engineers, um, what what drives you? What dr- drove you to a sort of go this path to invent this wheel? Uh, but also, you know, you're going about this in a very different way than the the stuff you've invented for, yeah. for other people before. There's a very personal signature to it. Tell us well, about no, that. No, I figured out. I figured out. Five years ago, I could invent the, the next best thing, but as soon as I license it or sell it to someone else, um, I won't make the money from it, which is fine. I understand that. But actually, I could spend a year working on a concept that I try and license that no one wants. So why not, if you have a really good idea, take it through, do the development, do the hard work, look at mass producing it, and make it yourself. Mm. So it, I've basically reconfigured my company to go from a concept creation, IP selling company through to a concept creation, IP creating company that can mass produce, make something that's mass producible, and then choose to mass produce it. And so the route to Kickstarter is more about democracy of the crowd gets involved in the process. Up to two weeks ago, you could have gone on Google and not seen and put in loot wheels, and there would have been nothing. But that does, I spent four years developing the wheel. I could have shown it at a show 18 months ago, and people have gone, wow, fantastic, love it. But it would have been too expensive to mass produce. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have had the correct ride characteristics. So I've spent that extra time because the launch is everything. Mm-hmm. And the reason we kickstart is is we've put a lot of money into developing and we've got no money left. Yeah. But we've, we realise the benefit of Kickstarter because if it's genuinely a good idea, it will be funded mm. because people around the world want genuinely good ideas to succeed. Um, and it's a very democratic. If it's not good or they don't like it, they don't back it. Mm. And that's what I like about it. It takes out all the equity people because they don't get it mm. Where's, what's in it for me mm-hmm. nothing's in it for you I want, you get a warm feeling of saying I've helped that happen how do, how do you become that person that takes that risk in terms of you know we had a bit of a conversation mm. about housing and doing up a house and spending that money where does that self belief come from um, I just think I've probably inherited it 
or I've worked on it. I, I to me, risk. I've done so many risky things. I've put so many things on the line. To me, risk is 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 no longer there. It is there, but it's only for the for the really really risky things now. Mm. Let's get into yeah. loop wheels. Let's get into the technology now. Yeah. Um, quite a, gr- I mean, groundbreaking, really. I mean, you. <laughs> I was talking about. No, I've been talking about this with friends last night. Like you've literally reinvented the wheel. Yeah, and we think so. That that statement alone is, is is a very British brave statement. You know, we're we're reinventing the wheel. Yeah. Um, tell people a little bit about the iteration process of this. You've spent a lot of time, but like, what what was the problems? What were the challenges yeah. of this? I'm I. When I come to a problem, I I always always say to my clients, if I'm working for someone else, I always say, I don't want to see what's already in the market. I don't want to see what you've been developing. I want to have a blank piece of paper. Because then I will come up with something potentially new. Now, I'm not from the bike industry. I'm just a designer. I just had the idea of a wheel where it could move in all directions. They call it tangential suspension. They call it radial suspension. There's lots of words for it. But it means that the wheel isn't constrained to just move in the direction of the front forks of the bike or the mechanism on the back of the bike. It can move in all directions. And I thought, that's an interesting concept. And I just thought, oh, I'll make a little model, try it. Oh, that worked. Right, I'll make another bigger model, I'll try it. Oh, I'll make one I can ride. Oh, <laughs> it rides. Not very well, but it rides. And, and, but you have to keep taking little steps. If you, if you saw the start point to the end point, you wouldn't do it. Right. And also, you don't know where you're going. There's no one to ask. There's no one to confer with. There's no one to concur with. The bike industry don't really know about it. Mm. Don't understand it. Mm. So you, you just have to have the self-belief that actually version 20 is slightly better than version 19. Hmm. Interesting. So, I mean, application-wise, this is across the board, isn't it? I mean, yeah. we were talking uh, wheelchairs and, you know, Olympic racing. Segways. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, how, how do you deal with... I mean, you're going it alone in some ways. You're cutting out a lot of the middlemen. You're sort of like, you're manufacturing yourself. There's going to be a ramping-up process. Yeah. You're going to smash through your Kickstarter to- total. Yeah. You're going to have a brand new audience that you've never had mm. before. How many people are involved with this? I mean, like, that's a lot of work, right? No, I think it, there are two of us. But I think it shows, um, actually, if you focus, have some great partners. We've got a virtual partnership of probably a couple of hundred. Right. But there are two of us who make the decisions, decide what we do and how we do it. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy. But so what? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Sam... Thank you very much for your time today. Pleasure. Really appreciate you coming in. All the best with it. And you. Thank you.